Right guys, so it's Sam from Lifestyle Bullies and we're back with another video again today. So today we're going to go into the American Bully breed history. We're going to break down what breeds it was that they used to get the American Bully breed and we're going to say whether or it was bred to be an aggressive dog like most of the people out there say it was. Right, so the American Bully breed is a very new breed in terms of dog breeds. Most dog breeds that are out there have been established for hundreds of years and have been around for such a long time. That's not the case with the American Bully. The American Bully is a very new breed. So what it means is, is it's not established itself very well in the dog community. So the American Bully, where does it start? So it started with the idea of crossing American Pit Bull Terriers with different American Staffordshire Terriers. The aim of this and the complete aim of this was not to breed an aggressive dog. It was the complete opposite. They wanted to be able to breed a dog that had the same look and that nice, uh, that look that everybody wants from a pit bull terrier, that muscly look that looks really uh, attractive and what everybody wants. And they wanted to go away from the game side of that temperament that the pit bulls have. The game is a way of describing a dog that will basically Whenever they see another animal, it is on. And that's how, it, and that's what a game dog is. So what they wanted to do was create a bigger dog that they, that they didn't have that aggressive temperament that pit bulls are known to have. So first they were crossing the American Staffordshire Terriers with the American Pit Bull Terriers. And what they were doing here is they were creating dogs that they were starting to get a look that they really wanted. And eventually, after a long time of selectively breeding these different pit bull terriers with different American Staffordshire Terriers, they got the look that they thought they wanted from the outset, and then and here was born the American Bully. Now, at this stage, there's a few different theories to what happened here, but here's one of them. So at this stage, they noticed that maybe that they, they still had a little bit of that pit bull game side of the temperament, in the American Bully still, probably from breeding still from those pit bull lines that had, that were game, maybe still a lot of the American Bullies out there had this aggressive drive. So what they wanted to do is think of another dog breed that they could bring into this situation that was gonna calm down the temperament, but also keep the big bulky look. So this is where the Bulldogs start coming in. So when the Bulldogs were starting to be bred into the American Bully, they were, like I said, they were used to get their size and that calm, docile temperament that most Bulldogs are known for having into the American Bully. So here's where comes the American Bulldog, the, the American, uh, the English Mastiff, any, all different types of Mastiff breeds. Here's where comes in all different types of Bulldogs that they use to get all the different classes of American Bullies. So when you think about it now, you can kind of see it with your own two, with your own two eyes. So we've got the XL Bully, which you can quite easily see that in most of them, they're going to be bred from Pit Bull Terriers, Staffordshire Bull Terriers, and probably a Mastiff or American Bulldog to get that size. Then when you come to the Standard Bully, they look a lot more and they have a lot more of the temperament like an old time Bulldog. So here's where they put in the old time Bulldog to get that look. Then with the Pocket Bully, it could have been, again, more of the old time Bulldog maybe the English Bulldog as well, to get those shorter, more stockier, exaggerated features. And again, now even with the Micro Bully, which we don't always agree with here with breeding, but if they're clean and correct, then obviously crack on, go ahead with it. The Micro Bully is mostly used the French Bulldog in there to be able to get that small compact size. So what you can see from what I'm saying already is the American Bully, and that's not just like, there'll be many other breeds that have been put in there to get the look that we have today. So from where they started off, from that dog that they were trying to breed to get that calm temperament, but still had that look, that is where it was the American Staffordshire Terrier and the Pitbull, but now it's got all sorts of infusions from all different people that got hold of the breed, that now the American Bullies all look completely different. So here's where it went wrong, is when this started to really kick off and people saw that the American Bully breed could make money, the problem was is they started to sell dogs that weren't American Bullies, people did, as American Bullies. Because pit bulls and sta American Staffordshire Terriers look a lot like American Bullies when they're puppies, people saw the money that they could make from the American Bully trade and started selling pit bulls as XL Bullies. In turn, what this meant 
is a lot of people actually ended up in having pit bulls instead of XL bullies. So that aggressive temperament came out. And then this is also the problem with, with, with the breeding of them. When people carried on breeding these dogs, they did not selectively breed those dogs like the, the people who made the American bully intended to. They did not watch out for that temperament and they did not keep breeding away from the game temperament to try and get the docile temperament of the bulldog. What they Instead, what they kept doing was keep getting these game lines of pit bulls and breeding them back in. And from that, you don't really get the real look of an American bully either. They never have the breed type. But these dogs do have that aggression of the American pit bull terrier still now. And these are the dogs that have been causing all the attacks in this country, in the UK, and the reason of why they've been banned. So, the American bully is a misconception. It is always, It was always bred to be bred to be a family companion and that is what the real american bully is from the start when the people who really who started this properly themselves they had the right intentions and from that if you do your research and pick a good bloodline and research your breeders there are american bullies out there with the a temperament that they aimed it to have that docile temperament that just acts like a family dog but still has that look of a pit bull that they desired Obviously, as we know, there's all sorts of different dogs that have been put in there and maybe mixed in there along the way, including the Rottweiler, which is one that we see a lot. The Rottweiler was maybe put in there, they say, to get the size of the American Bully, and then came along the tri-coloring that the Rottweilers have. They liked on the American Bully. That's now how we have Lilac Tri, Chocolate Tri, and all these different colors of Bully. So the American Bully breed, because it's so new, what it means is there's so much, un so many people are uneducated about that breed. So what we need to all do is learn about the American Bully, learn about the different breeds that were put into it to get where we are today. And just remember that if you are gonna breed American Bullies, you wanna stick to that original aim of getting that docile family companion dog, not a dog that has a game temperament and is going to, in turn, eventually, or most likely, attack a, a dog or an animal or a person and just cause a lot of trouble. So the American Bully is one of the best dog breeds out there. That's personally coming from me, from my, the bottom of my heart. The real American Bully that was bred the right way, with the right bloodlines, is the perfect family companion. Right, so I wanna thank you all for tuning into this video today. We're a big, big thank you for all the support recently. We're getting loads of questions as well, which we, we like a lot. Keep the questions firing. We'll be there all the time. It's anything you need to do with you, your dog or any questions we can help with whatsoever, please reach out to us. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe on the video. And we will be going live every Saturday night. So if you have any questions to go into there, please pop them in the comment box on this video and go check out our other videos as well, which I'll leave some links up to now. Thank you.